and the 2024 Invited Celebrity Classic taking place in Irving, Texas. Notable competitors joining Joe Carter will be Greg Maddox, Albert Pujols, our colleague John Smoltz, Kevin Millar, our colleague Roger Clemens, Marcus Ware, Reggie Bush, and a host of others. A pleasure bringing Joe Carter right now. Joe, we'll get to your golf game in just a second, but I was born in Toronto. It brings back such memories seeing that home run and what that meant for all of me and my friends and just going nuts and jumping for joy when you hit it. I once uh, asked Don Larson did every single day of his life to somebody ask him about the perfect game. So that's where I'm going to start with you. How often does someone bring up the home run? Daily, weekly, monthly? How many days can you go without someone saying, hey, 93, Joe, talk to me about it? Well, it's well if, if I'm out on the golf course or if I'm out in public, uh, probably once or twice a day someone will bring it up. So I, I hear it quite often. And, and it's, a, it's a great moment. It's something that uh, as, as I get ready to turn 64 in a couple of weeks here, you realize that uh, those are the memories that, that live with you for the rest of your life. And it's something I'm very proud of. I'm very glad it, it did happen. It brought a lot of joy to myself and uh, to, this, to the, the country of Canada and to the Blue Jays. So it's something I, I never get tired of talking about. And that's the first time I've seen it today. So, you know, <laughs> we are, you guys are the first ones. <laughs> well, it, it's got to be a great moment. And, and like you said, it can never get too old to, to relive a moment like that. I have some much smaller moments in my career, but I still go back from time to time and relive those moments. But other than the homer, what else do you remember about that season, about that team, about the moves that were, that, that were made that season that really much, pretty much led up to that moment? Well, the, the biggest thing was from the 92 championship team to the 93 championship team. I mean, we basically had half our team uh, was gone. So we had 12 new players that came along and Paul Molitor joined us that year. So, you know, he said, if you can't beat him, join us, join him. <laughs> so he joined us. And so that gave us some kind of revigoration. It uh kind of put some 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 win in our sails because our whole idea was let's win one for Molly. So that gave us something to shoot for the whole year. And man, when you've got that target on your back every single game, you know, it, it's tough, you know, on 162 game schedule uh, to go out there and, and, and play hard every single day when when every team is bringing their best against you because you are the defend, defended champions. That gave us a lot more inspiration, and uh, my, what a team we had. That was, uh, someone said it was an all-star game every time we played. <laughs> yeah, it's totally true, Joe, because you were talking about the Dodgers lineup and the Braves lineup, but you remember the acronym WAMCO, which was Devon White, Alomar, <laughs> Molder, yourself, and John Olderwood. That five, that was about as fearsome as it gets. Yeah, it, it was. I mean, we had speed. We had guys hit for average. We had a guy flirt with 400 and John Olderwood. And he was hitting fifth in our lineup, so so go figure. Uh, but then, as as Ricky Henderson came along, the the main thing was everyone knew their what their lane was, what their job was. My job was to drive the runs in. Devon White was to get on base, create havoc, and Robbie Alomar, Hall of Famer. I mean, he did anything and everything he wanted to. So everyone knew their job, and we we loved that atmosphere. And we loved how everyone came together and had one goal, one one thing in mind, and that was win another world championship and do it back to back. Go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say, we, we do want to hit you on the golf because you're going to be big hitters here, Joe. I know you can bomb it, but you got Romo, you got Smoltzy. How are you feeling about your golf game? Oh, those guys are terrible. I'm not worried about those guys. <laughs> 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 yeah, you, you know, as, as you get older, you know, golf is the universal sport right now. And it's something that you can play until, I mean, you're 70, 80, 90 years old at times. I remember my good friend Buck O'Neill playing until he was 93. But uh, Mike Flasky Entertainment has done a wonderful job in uh, at the Los Colinas Country Club. And, you know, all those guys, celebrities would be down there. And, and it's amazing because... Not only the celebrities, but you have the senior PGA uh, players, and it's just a bomb to play with those guys. And uh, we have a lot of competitive juice in us, believe me. We're not going to score as well as they do, but uh, guys like Romo and Pujols, I tell you what, Pujols just kills the ball. He is just a crusher. You know, Hall of Famer DeMarcus Ware. So it's going to be a lot of, it's going to be a fun time, and uh, it's something that we're very excited about. Raise a lot of money for a lot of good charities down there.
Uh, how much, when you, when you plan these celebrity events, I know everybody's picking your brain, everybody's talking to everybody, how much are you going to rub shoulders with the pro guys? I know VJ Singh's gonna be out there. How much do you go and try to pick up a tip here and there, go meet them on the short game area and try to pick up something with, from them? Oh, all the time. Are you kidding me? You, 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 you go, you go and you, and when you're hitting balls in the range, you go and you sit right, you sit right behind them. And so you just watch them swing the club. Uh, yeah, you're, you're cheating. You're trying to pick up tips. It's the same way with playing with the LPGA women. You sit next to them in the short game area and you see how they hit and they're, I mean, exceptional. So these guys are, are, I mean, guys like Dickie Pride, uh, you know, I played with him and one of the greatest guys, even though he's from the University of Alabama. I mean, we had such a wonderful time. And so he sits there and he gives you a lot of tips. And so they want to talk about baseball a lot of time. We want to talk about golf. So there's <laughs> that camaraderie that we have. Uh, but we, we respect one another and we have a great time. It is it's a lot of fun out there. Joe, I want to throw some pictures at you and give me a story or a thought that comes by when you see the pictures. So I believe the first was 92 All-Star Game. Alomar, Griffey, Juan Guzman, Buck Showalter, and yourself. Uh, yeah, 92. That had to be in San Diego. So that was uh, that was my one of my, you know, going back to San Diego, it was a pretty good time. And I remember in that game, uh, facing Greg Maddox, and I think we hit about eight straight balls right over the second baseman's head. And uh, Andy Van Slyke said, yeah, we were having the closest to the pin contest because everything <laughs> dropped from your hip that day. And I think Griffey was the MVP that day. So a uh, pretty good day for the uh, for the American League that time. Look, can we squeeze in? There's a picture with you and Snoop Dogg, I believe, at a charity event. Can you give me a quick Snoop story? Well, well, yeah. You know, Snoop, uh, he came to my golf tournament. I have a, a golf tournament in Toronto I've had for 15. This will be the 15th year. Uh, benefiting the Children's Aid Foundation and Snoop, we had an after party and Snoop was, uh, he was the main guy. I mean, and you know, he is such an athlete. Uh, he threw out the first pitch and you know, one thing we told him is said, Hey, <laughs> don't, don't do it bad. Okay. Don't, <laughs> don't show us up now. So you gotta, <laughs> you gotta be repping, but, uh, what a, what a great philanthropist. I mean, he goes out there and, uh, he performed, he has a great show and, uh, we had a great time with Snoop that day and, you know, he was all over the place, but he enjoyed Toronto like a lot of people do. Man. Awesome stuff, Joe. Appreciate you always, man.